Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Dispute with Mahesh. Professional Cloud Architect exam is going to get a new set of updates. So the updates are going to be reflecting starting from um, October 30th, 2025. So if you are going to take an exam after third, uh, October 30th, uh, so new set of concepts will be tested. So the one which is going to be mostly focused is on the well architected framework which was there in aws for a very long time so this has been introduced in google cloud so you'll be able to see a good number of architectures best practices which they follow and there are around five pillars basically the operation excellence security privacy and compliance reliability cost optimization and performance optimization so questions will be more on that is what they say and i have already created a PDF document, the PDF document I've already downloaded it. So what I've done is I've just done a small comparison on what are the things which is going to be changed very specifically. So the first one, as I mentioned, so more focused towards well architected framework is what is expected. And if we go, the second major change is the case studies. So only EHR healthcare case study has been retained, remaining are all totally new so some of them were there in the renewal so if you are taking a second time the certification so there were some few uh, case studies like uh, alto strata and uh, symbol these were there is my understanding so the only thing which was retained is ehr so if you remember in one of the videos i had mentioned teramurt will be removed because google does not have iot core component so that's what it has been removed and it has also been there for a very it was there for a very long time so hence it has been removed mount Grid games has been removed and helicopter racing league has been removed so that is the second update next going to the section wise stuffs right so there are section one to section six section one section two section three they have increased the percentage so more questions are going to come so previously it was 24 now it is 25 and some of the very uh, fine grain changes which you can see is focusing on like identifying whether it's a functional requirement or a non-functional requirement so questions may come up on that so what is this going to be if i were to give a little more insights on it like um, so when you are certified right you will definitely work as a cloud architect so you will definitely get requirements documents so it could be an rfi request for information request for proposal or it could be a tender document in that they will mention a few requirements you should be in a position to classify whether it's a functional requirement or it is a non-functional requirement so that's what basically they are expecting you to know business continuity plan has been also added so this the major portion uh, wfa it is not a uh, web application firewall rule the cloud armor so it is now basically more focused towards well architected framework so the third interesting point is gemini cloud assist gca in short so focus more on ai is also going to come into picture backup and recovery because google had a good number of acquisitions so they expect us to know something more on that so you can see a, a good number of section uh, where they are asking us to know more on gemini large language model uh, agent builder uh, model garden ai hyper uh, computer all those kind of a stuff so basically they have added it so and few things like uh, private service connect was already there so they have also very precisely mentioned it is going to be more focused so the remaining infrastructures are always there but they have given more clarity like uh, what kind of uh, stuffs now people who have taken already trainings uh, which i offer as a customized training uh, know when to choose what kind of a resource uh, because we usually discuss this in our training so when to use a compute engine when to use basically a spot vm a spot vm versus a custom machine type versus a regular predefined machine type when to use that so we usually discuss that part so that is something focused which is really good so also on the migration piece so not everything will be in google cloud right so it could be on aws azure or it could be on on-premise so how do we use uh, migration center so which was previously strato zone right so that is basically going to be asked also more on the licensing implications when we do the mi uh, migration so focus more on uh, 
cloud, born in the cloud kind of a solution. So that's primarily on section two, uh, section one, sorry. Section two also has increased from 15% to 18%. So it looks like more like inflation kind of a stuff. So just a fun fact. So uh, it's basically has increased. So more focus on VPC kind of a stuff and backup so you will see again and again backup and continuity kind of a stuff uh, vmware questions may come up more so it was not much focus so you may get more questions on that serverless computing so in the last uh, or in the current uh, thing right still it is today is 20th of uh, october so we have 10 uh, 10 more days so if you look at the older or the current version of the exam guide section 2.4 and 2.5 was not not at all there this has been newly added which is completely focusing on end-to-end -end ml process so that is what you see it uh, as an option right so that's something which you see it primarily focused on uh, vertex ai the entire vertex AI suite of tools so then on the design piece of it you see again it has been increased uh, one percent increase focus more on uh, hierarchical firewall rules uh, remote secure remote access was already there so but now they have given a little clarity on what needs to be focused on uh, then uh, securing supply chain um, software supply chain is also been added this is very much important for cloud run and uh, how we have cloud armor for load balancer now you also have cloud armor for ai models so they are expecting us to have securing ai capability data sovereignty has been there uh, section 4 to 6 they have reduced the percentage because they increase it in section 1 to 3 so that is something which you can see it you will see data recovery again and again uh, disaster recovery sorry uh, section 5 they have also focused more on uh, Gemini code assist now you may say how Gemini code assist is going to come into picture let me give a small context here so when you are having infrastructure deployment how will we usually do uh, terraform is a preferred choice uh, so it's a piece of code right so you may want to uh, leverage gemini code assist uh, in that case so that's what they are expecting us to know so then more on cloud shell so all the capabilities uh, cloud code is there which is now part of uh, gemini code assist a uh, cloud assist then uh, Terraform and uh, accessing Google API best practices and uh, API client libraries. So these last two points we discussed in the beginning of our uh, uh, training itself. So batch 11 is already finished. So batch 12 is going to be mostly getting started at the end of October. So if you are interested, do let me know. Uh, drop me a comment or email me. I'll be happy to share more details on that part. So that's on section 5. So section... Uh, um, six is also reduced from 14 percent so the one of the most important thing is operational right so if you look into basically this well architected framework so operational excellence is one of the important things so that's been added benchmarking is also been added so which was not there and lastly reliability of the solution so these are some of the things which you can see as the changes which you can expect from 30th of October 2025. Uh, so if you want to take it before that, it will be the regular one. The old case studies will be there. But if you are going to take it after uh, October 30th, so do expect some new case studies, new questions. And most of the case studies will be focused towards AI is what I understand. So that's the video which I wanted to share. Thank you for watching.